Mm. Mm -mm. This is why it pays to pay for a premium fish sauce. Sticky and savoury caramelised pork belly infused with the savoury umami flavours of a premium fish sauce. At home, we call this dish a rice day because the pork belly is quite unctuous and flavoursome. And the best thing to offset all those interesting flavours is freshly steamed rice. This dish, tetkotil, mirrors tetkotao, Vietnamese pork belly braised with eggs. But the one difference is that this takes only a fraction of the time. Let's get cooking. Let's put the E's in Vietnamese. We're gonna start with the pork belly and marinating it. But first, to quicken the cooking time, we're gonna cut the pork belly into small pieces. So I've just got some pork belly rashers here that I'm gonna cut, slice and dice, just like so. So that's the size you're after, nothing too chunky, nothing too big, and that fat will render off a little bit while we cook it. And if pork belly isn't your kind of cut, you can use pork neck or even some pork shoulder. We're gonna get all our umami, all our savoury flavour from a good quality fish sauce. And I like using sunfish sauce. With sunfish sauce, you can use it quite liberally because it doesn't over season your dish and it doesn't take over with that briny fishy taste. Mix it in well. There we have it, look at that beautiful marinated pork belly. Let that sit on a weeknight if you're really desperate for this dish. You can just marinate for 15 minutes, but I recommend leaving it overnight, pop it in the fridge, and let it nap overnight, okay? All right, we're gonna get started on a caramel, and that's gonna be the basis of our color. Pop some sugar into a cold pan. Splash of oil, just a touch. Lovely. And then slowly bring it up to temperature. Make sure you put it on a, a gentle heat, medium max, but I will go low to medium. We want to slowly dissolve and melt that sugar to make it be become a caramel. And once it turns brown, golden, almost copper brown, it's time to pop the pork belly and the garlic in. So this caramel is almost getting there now, but that should completely dissolve. We're getting a little bit of a yellow tinge, but we're looking for something a bit more copper. And you see, I've got my pork belly quite close by because as soon as it turns, I'm gonna go straight in with the pork belly to avoid the caramel from burning. Now it's become like a, a caramel milkshake. Now it looks like honeycomb crunchy. Here we go. There it is, copper. Hit it. Oh, lost a few passengers. Mix that really well. Look at that color. Beautiful. Pop some garlic in. Today, we're gonna to use young coconut water and I'm gonna wrench it open. So to do that, pop the wrench down. Stay with me guys. Shave the coconut from the top. So I learned this tip of a good friend of mine and his name's Tan, the fruit nerd. And I've now, opened a co young coconut any other way since then. Check this one out guys. So just shave it down, down to its sh hard outer shell. And you'll see there's three clear lines. One, two, three. They're its strong points. So what we wanna do is we wanna avoid hitting the strong points. They're super stringy, super fibrous. We just wanna hit the coconut with the wrench here here and here. Just give it a whirl, see what happens. There it is. Cut a little peephole into the pot. Cover it well. Bring that to the boil. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water here. You can see that the meat is not quite covered. Not too much. Perfect. 
and then we're going to bring that to the boil and then simmer it on low, low, low to medium for about half an hour. Okay, that pork is just looking beautiful. It smells amazing and the colour there is just spot on. It's deep caramel. Let's play it up. We're serving this with a little bit of rice today, some steamed jasmine rice, of course. What fitting for the rice thief dish. Some fresh cucumbers, a tomato. Park that there. Pepper. Let's dig in. I need chopsticks. Grab a bit of pork. Beautiful. Smell that braising liquid. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. Flavour town. Freshly. Pitchily. Oh, that's hot. Oh. Mm. Mm-mm. This is why it pays to pay for a premium fish sauce. It's not salty or fishy in any way, but it's amped with all this umami without adding any MSG. It's sweet, it's sticky, it's savoury. It's just outright addictive. Try another piece just to be sure. A bit of rice. Mm. It's quick, delicious, Vietnamese home cooked meals tickle your fancy. You have to give this recipe a whirl. <laughs> it's an absolute belter. Go on, do yourself a favour for flavour. <laughs>